What's up, good people? Uh, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I come to you guys right now with a lot of concerns. I am worried. I am seriously worried, and um, I need your help. I, I really and truly do because I don't know what's going on. I've, I've been trying to get in contact with them, and I can't get a response. And I'm worried. You know, this this day and age, this world is crazy. You know, there's a house, uh, you know, not far from where I am. That uh, guy was launching flares from his house and things, the police come by to serve a warrant, and the next thing, boom! The whole house is a big fireball. They don't know if the guy was in there or what happened and or whatever. You know, this world is just crazy. That's why I always tell you guys, make sure you tell the people you love how much you love them because you might not get the chance to tell somebody because tomorrow's not promised. And I've been trying to get in contact with my buddy and I hear nothing back for days, for days. And this is a person that I'm used to talking and hearing from on a daily basis. And we're talking about family. And if you have heard or seen Philly 500, please, by all means, let me know because I've been trying to get in touch with them. Ain't answering my calls. He, you know, I've been text messaging him. Hey, I just text me. I literally just said, Hey, buddy, are you okay? Because all summer long and all off season and early part of the season, you know, he would always get in contact with me to let me know how much he loved me and how much he loved to troll me and talk smack and how much the Dallas Cowboys sucked and how they were literally the greatest team of all time. I mean, and you get used to hearing from your loved ones like that and then all of a sudden it stops and you get no reply so it, my only assumption is something has happened traumatic to Philly 500 because I would have heard from him I just literally just sent him another text said hello are you okay and I got nothing even worse I'm checking his channel you know he did the um, packing and swallowing uh, cast with uh uh, 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 Philly shakedown, you know, they're shaking down and packing and swallowing and doing all that stuff after the game, which was, I, I mean, I, I know that that game was hard. Okay. I mean, we've been there. We, we've been there from, you know, we, I, I thought we could console each other because we got beat down by the bully San Francisco as well. So we, we understand how you feel. We understand how you feel brother and Philly, man, brother I'm here for you seriously there's nothing we can't work out together I got it I know it's a realization of your team maybe not as good as you thought it was maybe all of the checks you'd have written about how good your team was I mean I, I understand I really I, I understand Philly it, it's kind of crazy because I remember when you were talking about the Kobe Dean. The Kobe Dean has a chance to be a pro bowler and to lead the team in tackles. And he ends up going on injured reserve, not once, but twice. That, you know, your secondary that you thought, you know, big play slay, that the guy we kept calling the, the big play made on slay is what we said he was. Your defense is ass ass. I, I get it. I believe me. Listen, bro. We went through ten years of Jason Garrett. Ten years. We had Mike Nolan, Mike freaking Nolan, as a defensive coordinator. If there's anybody that could understand, it's me, son. I'm here for you. I'm here for you in your time of need. Reach out. We can, we can make it all better. I know we, we play each other this week. I know it doesn't get any easier. But man, we family, bro. 
So, if you've seen Philly 500, if you know where he is, if you know how to get in contact with him, if you've seen him, please let me know. I, I, I'm scared. I, I, I'm honestly I just miss him sending me all the links of all the videos, literally trashing my people. You know, telling me that Micah Parsons is going to be a future Philadelphia Eagle. Hearing about the Kelly Green. The, 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 the Kelly Green. The Kelly Green. Jerseys. And Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, MVP. I, 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 I get nothing. I just want you to be okay, Philly. <laughs> Philly, I just, just need to know wherever you are. Just Philly, just know wherever you are. Biggest week of the season on top of this. The biggest week. <sighs> I gotta go. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? That's no. Tough. They suck. I've been telling you all season, They've Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <sighs> Caleb Carter, Slight? They shit on you. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't do possible. You know what? What, what do you? Get thank you for super chat, my man. Appreciate it. Hey, can you tell me what ass balls are? <laughs> it's like it's like the view from the ass. You see the ball hanging. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, we got, we got the definition of ass balls. <laughs> Umbrella man, David Superchickers. Next oh, Friday, we'll say a lot. 